Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to give administrator permission to user or local user account in a Windows 10 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. I give two simple methods to give administrator permission to user or local user account. Before go to this video, if you not subscribe the channel, then subscribe the channel and also click on the bell icon. So let's go to our video. Our first step is very simple. Go to the start, right click on the start, not left click, right click on the start. Here we find computer management, click on the computer management. And here we find many options. Expand local user and groups, expand it. Here we find users, go to the users. In a users, here we find administrator, built-in administrator account. If your built-in administrator account is not enabled, then enable it. Right click on it, click on the properties and click on the account is disabled. Click on the apply and here is the our problem. It's not queue a permission, it's showing your access is denied. It is not a queue access to us to log in as administrator by this step. Okay, no problem. We are going to the another way. Our another way is very simple. Okay, in a YouTube description, I give some commands. Go to the YouTube description. I give some commands in a YouTube description. Here we find some command. First, copy this command net user administrator forward slash active dot active. Yes, copy it and go to the start and type cmd. Right click on the command prompt, click on run as an administrator. Here, add your password. If it's asked for the password, then add your password and click on the yes. Add your PC password. And here, in administrator on in command prompt, paste the our path or the given text and click on the yes. It's active our account. Now, next step is we have to give a password. Password is also IMP. So here we find to create a password. Type this net user administrator and type as it is okay here type as it net user administrator then star and hit enter key on your keyboard and here we find type the password for the user it's not visible your password you can type your password as you want but not visible on the your screen i type my password and hit enter key it is not visible on our screen enter it after that re-enter that password re-enter same password and hit enter key our account is now enable we are going to the here close it or exit from here and go to the here start and here go to the our account and we directly go to the administrator account click on the administrator account or here we find our account log out from the our account here we find sound out sign out or log out i sign out now click it here here we find new account administrator click on the new account administrator type your password whatever your password type your password enter key now first time your administrator account is start and it's take one or two one or five minutes so wait for one or five minutes and Give the permission to your administrator accounts. Now we are logging as administrator in the administrator account. Our second method is or the first method is give a permission to our local account. That is very simple now. Go to the start, not a start, right click on the start, not a left click, right click on the start. Here you find computer management, click on the computer management. Center it. Here we find local user and groups. Expand this. Here we find users, click on the users. Here we find the our account, find your account, whatever your account is, click on your account or user or the local user account, right click on it. Here we find properties, click on the properties. Here we find the mem member of, click on the member of tab, click on member of tab. Here we find member of users. It's not give access to the administrator, it is an only users. Now we are going to the add a administrator, Click at here, add. Here we find advanced. Click on the advanced. In advanced, here we find find now. Click on the find now. Here we find many options. I expand this. Here we find the ex administrators. Click on the administrators. Click on the OK. Click on this OK button. Here we find OK. Click on the OK. Now it's add administrator. Click on the apply. Click on the OK. And this time there is no problem with the, our account. Now we are 
लॉग इन और वी आर क्रिएट आवर अकाउंट एज आवर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर अकाउंट ओके आवर सेकेंड स्टेप और द आवर सेकेंड मेथड इज ऑल्सो वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल इफ दिस मेथड इज नॉट वर्क फॉर यू देन गो टू द आवर सेकेंड मेथड क्लोज इट आवर सेकेंड मेथड इज गो टू द स्टार्ट एंड हियर टाइप सेटिंग्स क्लिक ऑन द सेटिंग्स वी आर इन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर अकाउंट ओके सेंटर इट एंड हियर वी फाइन अकाउंट्स क्लिक ऑन द अकाउंट्स इन अकाउंट्स वी फाइन फैमिली एंड द अदर यूजर्स और अदर यूजर्स समटाइम फैमिली एंड अदर यूजर्स एंड समटाइम अदर यूजर्स इन माई केस अदर यूजर्स सो आई क्लिक ऑन द अदर यूजर्स हियर वी फाइन द आवर ऑल अकाउंट्स क्लिक ऑन द अकाउंट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव परमिशन टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर क्लिक ऑन द अकाउंट दैट अकाउंट हियर वी फाइन चेंज अकाउंट टाइप हियर वी फाइन अकाउंट टाइप इज स्टैंडर्ड यूजर चेंज इट टू एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर क्लिक ऑन द ओके एंड क्लिक ऑन द क्लोज नाउ आई लॉग लॉग इन लॉग आउट फ्रॉम द माई एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर अकाउंट I go to their administrator and I log out or sign out from the my account. Now go to the my account. I go to the my account and add my password. My local user account is started and it has a administrator permission. So guys, this is the simplest way to give administrator permission in a Windows 10 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share. comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys